Okay, James P. Madon of Mega Life 21 as seen on the web uh, and uh, also on Facebook. Progressive discussions, long running, uh, hard hitting truth internet uh, talk show. I am in my car. Okay, there's my hula, my solar powered hula dance dancer, and uh, my talismans and amulets of various kinds to ward off evil. This guy, and here this guy almost hit my car. You know, we're supposed to have a nor'easter storm tomorrow. It is now March 1st. Well, let's, let me get that out of the way. March 1st, 2018. Yes, it is the beginning of March. There's a U.S. post office with a bunch of assholes that work there. Chinatown Gourmet, where I get my lunch specials before 3 o'clock. Of course, it's too late. Uh... And uh, one of the liquor stores that I go to over there. Forget about Napoli Pizza. They got really stingy with their portions and uh, and up their price. Anyway, I am also by uh, all these, which I just got out of all these market here in Lodi, New Jersey. We have, and then um, the strip mall also has a Dollar Tree uh, and a Burger King. Okay, now. Uh, getting back to the so-called nor'easter, the temperature is going to be above 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It is not going to be freezing. Okay, we are going to receive a large amount of cold rain with moderately high winds. Not very high, you know, not really, from what I understand, not really 50 miles an hour or over. It's going to be like, you know, moderately, moderately high winds. But it will not be freezing. It will not, we will not be snowbound tomorrow, Friday, March the 2nd. No. But you would think that because we're not going to be snowbound, you would think that people will not panic. That's not the case. People are rushing into the supermarkets like a bunch of neurotic uh, morons are panicking like they're going to starve to death, like they're going to be buried in snow up to the waist or higher. They are acting like they're literally going to starve to death and we're not even getting snowbound. Now, do you see how neurotic and paranoid and, 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 and idiotic people are in my area, the New York metropolitan area. Do you see this? I, I mean, you don't, you don't physically see it because I didn't take my, um, my smartphone out when I was shopping, but it's very true. Uh, people are acting like they're going to be, uh, deprived of food like they're going to not be able to leave their home the next day they just hear the word storm warning nor'easter blah 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 blah, blah but it's not going to freeze so therefore we will not get snow and ice but they're acting like neurotic nervous nellies all right panicking panic what would happen if we really have a crisis? What will happen if we uh, go under martial law? What, uh, because the uh, a solar storm knocked out the major power grid in the United States. What would happen if these, if these people are panicking now? What on earth would happen if we really had a crisis? It's insane. It's absolutely insane. The only pleasant part of my little joint was the fact that um, I'm going in, I'm going into the Dollar Tree to get some perennial wild flowers for the uh, certain area in front of the uh, house, and also the fact that I went to Piast uh, Polish uh, Market Meat and Provisions and I got some. Uh, what they call a black head cheese, which is a, a homemade head cheese made with blood, pork's blood, 
and I got some uh, high quality European uh, uh, peppermint tea and some Aronia tea, which is known as chokeberry, very high ORAC score, very powerful antioxidant and uncle oxidant too. But then again, is mass hysteria because of the nor'easter tomorrow? It is not, and I repeated it, it is not going to be snow and ice. We are not going to be snowbound. Even if we were snowbound with the Department of Public Works and everything, people are usually stuck in the house no more than two days. And I'm sure, I am sure the average American has enough food in their home for one or two days. You know, you can tell that Americans are uh, uh, not deprived of calories and, and uh, sustenance. Not, not to say the least. I mean, you know, their obesity is a uh, epidemic in the United States. So that's about it. There isn't a day that goes by where I don't like uh, get annoyed as hell uh, when I go somewhere. I wish I had a dashboard camera that could pick up all the other annoyances, like pedestrians crossing in front of my car without looking, without turning their heads. Uh, a lot of them are young punks, high school or millennials texting and just walking in front of my car. So I wish I had some kind of setup. Oh, there we go. The asshole with the SUV finally left. There's the Dollar Tree. Almost sounds like idolatry, right? Beach bum tanning because white people have an obsession with uh, getting darker. But then again, if you're dark, they discriminate. How do you like that? It's like Mex uh, it's like Americans, uh, 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 gringos love Mexican food, but they discriminate against Mexicans themselves. You know, it's, 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 it's hypocrisy. It's total hypocrisy. All right? All right. By the way, this is one of my favorite offices because I have peace and quiet in my car.